Hello friends and enemies, it's me V. I have PCOS, that's why I have a beard. Here so you can see it better. Um, it has dawned on me as I'm walking home that, uh, oh my eye. I've learned that procrastination no longer works for me. What do I mean by that? Let's Quentin Tarantino things back. When I was a kid and I would have these long ass projects, I learned that my creativity comes to me in bursts. Um, things that I meticulously planned and got together and cobbled and said, this is what I created. I would get a C, C plus at best. But the things where I was like, let's do this the night before or two nights before, I would work my ass off on doing, get it done without sleep, turn it in and they'd be like, fucking men a plus worst b minus so that set me up for college where i continued to do this and i excelled and then i realized you can't really do that with film and tv so i started to go back to having things done what also helped is that i didn't have a car with me not having a car i would say hey i need to get to this place by one o'clock the next bus will get me there an hour before this, before it happens. Uh, I could wait for that next bus that's 30 minutes, but something could happen. I quickly learn, take that hour. Some people would be like, why take the hour? Well, on the times where I would say, you know what? I'm not going to take this hour. I'm going to go do this thing. What would typically happen is shenanigans. I would take the bus that had 30 minutes to spare they'd get a flat or they'd have two people that would tell the bus driver go fuck themselves so the bus driver would have to call the cops and have these people escorted and then I would watch as my minutes went away versus an hour where I might still get the person who says you know fuck you to the bus driver I might get lost by 20 minutes but I would always be early I would sit there I would know where everything is and I'd be like cool awesome I learned to do that and then I got a car. And suddenly, I said to hell with that, and I fucked off doing that, because I had a car. And one of my friends at the time was like, you know, you don't, you being late means that you don't care about this friendship. And I was like, I do care about this friendship. And she's like, you're not showing it. So that really made me think, okay, I need to start thinking ahead and everything. So I started thinking ahead, looking at times and being like, okay, when do I need to do this thing? When does this thing need to be done? Da, 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 da. Worked through all that and made sure that I was always there early. So people couldn't say, you suck as a friend. And that worked. But recently, for whatever reason, I've gone back to being that person who's like, oh, well, I don't have, you know, I'll get there when I get there. Bus, blah, blah, blah. And as a result, I'm constantly rushing. And because I'm rushing, and because I'm rushing, I'm failing to notice things. Sparks, if you will. And that sucks. And this entire trip to C2E2 was a bitch. What do I mean? The thing I realized, uh, if I could describe the main things that jumped out at me during and after the whole con, I would say the two things were procrastination and not looking ahead at things. What do I mean by that? I'm glad you asked. First things first, procrastination. Um, that Friday morning, I got up early, like six o'clock because the people downstairs, their toddler was crying and everything. So I woke up to that. Could not fall back asleep. I also couldn't fall asleep because my stomach kept saying, you have to get up. And I just sat there instead of getting up and leaving straight away. As I had planned, I waited until eight o'clock. My check-in time was 11 a.m. That didn't give myself a lot of space. 
you're talking two plus hours. That didn't give me a lot of space. And I thought, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And as I'm driving, I didn't get, I didn't even get coffee. I just drove, I drove there. Um, cause originally my plan was to get my stuff, go get coffee, then get on the road. Instead, I got on the road at eight and then was it eight or nine, eight or nine. I got on the road and several things started to happen. There were three or f there were three or more car crashes. And as a result, traffic added an extra 25 to 17 minutes, 17 minutes and upwards. Uh, one was 47 minutes of extra time that was added. So I had that going against me. Had I left at the time that my brain was like, you need to leave, I would have gotten there in plenty of time. Because of me procrastinating and not wanting to start driving and pack, you know, taking my stuff out and doing whatever. I missed the Boy Meets World panel. I missed a ton of panels that I had wanted to see and I had planned on seeing. And um, I didn't account for variables. Another thing that happened Friday is there were a lot of panels I had wanted to go to. And I waited until 15 minutes before I was supposed to go to that panel to go to the panel. And I didn't count on others also looking at those panels and being like, oh, I would like to go because as a result, it was full. Or when I came in, they had already started. So I'm like, great. And also I would get lost. That's another thing. Had I left early, I could have watched, I could have, you know, been in line with everybody else, found a seat, sat down, been fine and could have kept it moving. Instead, I was rushing and then the way the convention is set up, there is, it's S401AB, then there's S401CD. I was thinking that the different doors meant that it was different things. That's not the case. I sat in on a Pokemon championship thing without realizing it. I was like, oh, they're, they're doing Pokemon. Okay, when are they going to get to it? And I thought, oh, they're doing it because nobody's there, you know. They're waiting for the people to come in. 15 minutes. And then I realized, wait a minute. This is an actual panel for Pokemon. I'm in the wrong fucking thing. And by then I'd missed. I'd missed a good chunk of the stuff I was supposed to see. Had I looked ahead, left early, then I could have perused and been like, okay. Looked at all my stuff. Would it not have had an issue. <clears throat> Another, the other thing that I did not plan is looking at the maps. I am not a good map reader. I know this about myself. If you're telling me, hey, you need to go to this place, I'm expecting you or I'm going to ask you, hey, can you tell me if there are any landmarks by it? Because that's how I, that's how I'm able to take directions. If you say, go here and then you'll see a Starbucks already, I'm like, okay. Got it. Look for the Starbucks, then make a left, then, you know, walk until I see uh, the McDonald's, then make a right. I am good with that. But if you say, go down three blocks, make a right, then go to the left, I'm going to be confused as fuck. And that's also what happened on this trip. Because my instructions were by Google, which Google Maps has its own fucking way of telling you things. And I just, I really fucking hate Google Maps. When they're trying to tell you stuff. Because the stuff they're trying to tell you does not match at all what's happening. Um, but mostly, I was not really looking at the maps until I needed the maps. And had I taken the steps to look at the maps and say, okay, this is what I need. I'm here. I need to go up here. Or I need to ask for directions. That was another thing. Not asking people for help when I needed it. Uh, things could have gone differently. I wouldn't have lost my arrow chamber or these, or uh, I, because I went to a convention, I bought some stuff. I wouldn't have lost that stuff. The stuff was 28 to $30 worth of stuff that I lost. The arrow chamber is $65. So I lost 95 to $100 worth of stuff. And that's also because I wasn't paying attention to what was going on around me.
And also, by me procrastinating the first two, that Friday and Saturday, I missed things. And then later I was like, oh, I really should get on the ball. What did I do? I procrastinated that Sunday when I was checking out. My original goal was to check out at 9. And then, you know, drive out and, you know, drive back in and get some stuff going. Well, 9 o'clock rolls by. I see that it's packed. So I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Da, 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 da. So I start planning for what I'm going to have to do because I'm like, I have to check out at 12. I have to leave the parking lot at 12, this, that, and the other. So I start ordering food. I'm not as invested as going to see the Chris Evans panel that I really wanted to see because I'm like, what's going to happen there? Um, I then find out when I checked out at, at 11.30. No, it wasn't 11.30. I'm sorry, it wasn't 11.30. It was before the Chris Evans thing, which was 11.30. It was, it was actually 10-something. Oh, fuck. The point is, I ordered food and put a specific time of noon to catch the food, to get my food, because I'm like, I'm not going to be here anyway. And uh, they informed me, oh, yeah, you have parking, you have parking privileges until 5 p.m. today. I had already ordered the DoorDash food and, and it was already, they were already working on it by this time. And I was just like, if I had done my, originally what I had set out to do, which is, you know, leave, they could have told me, they would have told me the people at the hotel would have been like, hey, just so you know, you have until 5 p.m. That's when your, your parking privileges are taken away. And then I would have been like, cool, awesome. Then my fat ass would have went into the con. I would have stayed there until 10 something. I would have, all my stuff is already packed and in the car by this time. But I would have gone to the con. I would have waited in line. And then I would have either watched it on the video, on the screen, or I would have been in the actual room. <sighs> yeah, I'm having a lot of regrets this, this weekend. Because I just realized, like, all the things I wanted to do, I end up missing because I was doing shit that no longer serves me. Procrastinating. I used to do procrastinating, like I said, when I was younger. It is not serving me well. It has not served me well at all for the last two fucking years. No, since the pandemic started, it has not been serving me the fuck well. I broke my tooth during the pandemic. Could not find a dentist. So I sat with a tooth that was broken in half. My top, my top upper right tooth, wisdom tooth. I could have avoided it had I gotten a doctor before then. In fact, I was thinking about getting a dentist before then. But then I was like, I'll just wait. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm just realizing that I can't procrastinate anymore. And I really need to fucking get on the ball when it comes to shit. This was a long rant. I will talk to you guys later. And as always, fuck Tom Brady.